What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally back to Heart Gold after, I would like to say, maybe eight months, probably? Nine? Probably almost a full year, good god. Maybe even less, because, you know, good old Draven forgets or anything like that. So, anywho guys, in the last episode, we finally beat the Elite Four and have earned the right to go to Kanto. Now we're going right here to Professor Elm, and he's going to be giving us the SS ticket in order to travel to Kanto. And, uh, well, we got to go to the fast ship over in Olivine City. So, yeah, we got to... We, we got a whole new adventure coming out right here. Now, I've taken a month off. You guys probably already noticed this. And I recorded damn near 20 episodes for Pokemon Heart Gold right here. Can't even say that right. And, uh, man, are we looking into a finale right here. We're not done at 20 episodes, guys, but we just... We might have a good finale. So, here we are in Olivine City, and, well, you're going to be seeing... Uh, well, you have to go down to the port right here in order uh, to go to the SS Tidal, SS Fast, or whatever it is right here. But before you go in, Professor Oak is looking at you, and he's like, you have the attitude of a champion. And uh, let me upgrade your Pokedex. And, of course, we're going to be getting our update on our Pokedex right here. And, uh, yeah, look at that. We got the National Dex. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. And, well, yeah, time flies. Now he has to go back to Goldenrod in order to do his radio show. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. Okay, so here we are going into the SS Aqua. And we're given the SS ticket and all that stuff. So here we are, ready to go. And, yes, we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff going into the SS Aqua. We're going to be battling. You know, warm up our shit-talking muscles. You know... And uh, look at that. That is a nice sight, especially for uh, the Nintendo DS right here. And <laughs> you probably already heard my recording from the backside. And bam, we get it bumped into this old by uh, this old man, and he's uh, he's asking where his granddaughter is. So if we locate her, yes, we will get something nice or something like that. I don't even know. That's how it usually happens. But here we are in the SS Aqua, ready to explore this whole place right here now. While I'm recording all this, I'm just going to be talking, guys. I'm going to be uh, doing all this kind of stuff right here. Now, if you guys remember, we are doing a post-com right here. Um, when we first started Pokemon Heart Gold, of, of course, we we were doing live com until, you know, the, the memory or the speed of the, the whole game started slowing down on us. So, this is actually the best route for, you know, any kind of a Nintendo DS games and stuff. So... If you guys are new to this channel, I'm sorry. Don't have a post or don't have a live com right here anymore because it's not really what you would uh, prefer or anything like that. So yeah, that's the deal right there. Now the other thing too is 20 episodes, guys. 20 episodes, and I did a lot of great things within those 20 episodes. You guys will be impressed or somewhat, you know, just uh, you guys will be happy because I've included a little bit more than just our team right here, and. Uh, I don't even know. Megan Pegg coming out with Teddy Ursa and Fanfy. Holy crud. Megan Pegg. I know for a fact if I had twin girls or twin boys, I wouldn't I wouldn't name them anything that rhymed. Seriously. That's like old school. Old, old school. I don't want them getting made fun of at school. I don't even know. I mean, they would get mix, mixed up, but I'm, I'm just going off of on a tangent right here. So, anywho, uh, let's see. What else is new right here in the world of uh, Pokemon Heart Gold? Nothing. Nessie's kicking some butt, taking names. Talks of Batman is flying, and it looks like Teddy Ursa is about to faint right here. Yeah, so Talks of Batman didn't really do anything right now, so that's uh, that's quite awesome. And, uh, well, are they going to come out with any other Pokemon? I want to know. I really, really want to know. And all my Pokemon are grown levels right here. And, yes, you guys have lost. How does it feel to fail? Okay, so that is that. And remember, just visit every single room around here, guys, because you, you will be uh, you, will, you will be getting some interesting stuff. Maybe find a, a thing or two right here. Some information about... Oh, wait, there's the grandpa looking for his, uh, for his uh, granddaughter. She's energetic in somewhere. Okay, so, yeah, you, you will be finding some uh, clues of where she's at. Obviously, I've played this game for quite some time, especially the older version, so we, we already know where she's at. It's just... A matter of us visiting all the rooms right here and just doing our thing. Now, many of you guys are going to be wondering what I'm going to be doing right here in this last portion of Pokemon Heart Gold. I know that there are a lot of legendary Pokemon that we have to capture. A lot of events and stuff. Uh, we're going to refrain from doing any kind of events or any legendary Pokemon capturing until we're done 
with the whole, uh, you know, storyline or series right here. Because remember, guys, we still got to be, we still have to finish out with the eight badges, go into Mount Silver, try and beat ourselves, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but there are quite a few legendaries out there, like Mewtwo, Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos, just a whole bunch of these uh, legendary Pokemon crammed into this one game right here. And I remember playing Pokemon Soul Silver, and I think I finished the, I think I finished this whole like that whole walkthrough in 120 or some odd episodes. I don't know, but that to me is a long, long time. So we're just gonna focus on the main adventure before we head into anything special right here. The only person with a golem is finally coming out with a golem, so we're gonna be coming out with a uh, Nessie right here. Look at Nessie. Oh yes, she's looking uh, She's looking pretty good, ready to kick some butt, take some names. So here we go, surf attack for the win. Eat it, or drink it, I don't know. Now, going into Kanto as well, guys, you will be seeing a little bit more experienced Pokemon. And whatever levels you land after the Pokemon League, it might be a challenge. So you could or could go, uh, could or just, or just wait on, uh, wait on the whole uh, Kanto thing until you leveled up your Pokemon. But for me, because of uh, you know this whole game right here, kind of want to finish it. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Well, I'm just gonna go in head on and all that crud and see what I can do. Remember. I've added a few a few extra things going into this walkthrough right here. Now there is somebody sleeping right here, and he ain't doing him he ain't doing much. He's just sleeping. Okay, well uh, never mind. He's just he doesn't want to wake up. Okay, so let's see. There's my cabin. If we get hurt, we can heal. Okay, so that's one thing that we fail to realize, guys. That you know we do have a cabin that heals us and all that stuff. So uh, yeah. We're gonna, yeah, like, well, when I was playing, like, when I was initially playing these whole games, didn't even use our cabin because, well, I thought that we had to beat this whole game off of the sheer will and the potions that you had. But, yeah, smartened up and all that stuff. Good thing that I, good thing that I grew a few brain cells along the way, so that's pretty good right there. And, well, we have defeated another Pokemon right there, growing more, and uh, he's going to be coming out with a Confing. Now, if he's just a Fire Breather, why couldn't he just have Fire Pokemon? Instead, he has Poison-type Pokemon, and, uh, well... Yeah, it, it, it just puts a damper on what I'm trying to do, like the Strategimagix and all that stuff. So, here we go with Relic, and Relic... Let's see, what should we do right here? We're going to be going with a Side Beam attack. Yeah, look at that, Side Beam. For the win! Say goodbye to coughing. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Anywho, um... I'm gonna go off topic, on topic, and all that stuff, guys. Especially when I'm doing post-comp, but... Uh, during my little vacation... Yeah, I've been recording nothing but Pokemon walkthrough videos. Uh... I don't know the exact number of how much I have recorded, but I know that it's going to be... Enough footage for at least two to three months. Yeah, I went that hard on that. Uh, I could have gone to Hawaii. I could have gone to the beach or something like that. But no, I chose to stay home to record more uh, videos and to post them, you know, ahead of time just so you guys can actually have something to watch. I mean, yeah. Prior to this, I actually, what was it's September 26th while I'm voice recording this stuff. And I am going to sleep right now. But it is September 26th right now, a day before I have to go back to work and everything. Yeah, I went hard on everything and I, and you know, I do believe that, you know, posting videos on time and, you know, ahead of, you know, ahead of time and whatnot and, uh, you know, scheduling them is, is better for me since, you know, my schedule has gotten crazier. Uh, in a few days, we're going to be in October, guys, and it's going to get a lot more crazier than what it was. So. Yeah, hooray for me going all out on recording all these videos, including Pokemon Heart Gold. I know that a lot of you guys have been wanting this walkthrough back since, you know, I completed the the Johto series. So, I heard, I got it, 20 episodes, here we go. And, uh, well, let's see. Since we're on the topic, I'm gonna take a look at my phone right here while I'm kicking some butt right there, too. Let's see how long ago I actually, uh... Let's see how long ago since since it's been since I uh, actually put this uh, this walkthrough out. So let's see, Pokemon Gold. There's Heart Gold, and for the win, Makuhira has been defeated. 
And don't you just hate the commercials on videos? Yeah, five months ago, guys. Holy crud. Five friggin' months ago. And that was in April 21st. And I believe that was my first vacation of the year. Yeah. <laughs> go figure. Go figure. Huh. I don't get a lot of vacations, but I... You know, I, per I picked the perfect time for this whole thing. And, well, there you go. Raticate has been defeated. And, uh, well, Hercules, uh, yeah, lowering his stats and all that stuff. Now, there was another thing, too, that I kind of wanted to do. And that was uh, bring in some uh, extra Pokemon that, you know, I've used in Pokemon Crystal, like Teddy. Uh, I don't think you can get him right here in Heart Gold. Probably in Soul Silver. That was probably my first mistake right there. Uh... But if I can bring Teddy in, then, uh, yeah, we're probably going to be doing, like, we probably could do that. We're just going to have to wait a few episodes, and, yeah, from episode to episode, you're going to be seeing me, uh, yeah, you're going to be seeing me not answer calls for my mom. She's going to be calling me a lot. There are a lot of items in the in the Pokemart that are waiting for me, so, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have to, like, wait on all that stuff. So, here we go, going up against Mr. Mime, Toxic Batman, taking a bite out of crime right here, and that nearly takes care of Mr. Mime, and it flinched, so to the spoils of Victor right here, Toxic Batman has won it again. Alright, alright. And, well, let's see, Juggler Fritz is coming out with his Magmar, so let's go right ahead and go with Nessie right here. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Let's see, Nessie, Complete Tank. What? It suddenly becomes our MVP at some point. I don't know. Now, training my Pokemon here, I believe I switch in and out with the whole uh, experience share. So that right there is going to be a lot of grinding. Well, footage grinding. Uh, my main focus right now is just to get through the storyline, like, get the badges, figure out the whole power outage situation over in Kanto, and, uh, yeah. I think that that's my main focus for right now, and I believe I do get all eight badges. So, yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of leveling up right here, guys. And, well, here we go against Machoke, and it's Karate Chop, not effective. Look at that, three, level, uh, three HP. So here we go. Fly for the win. Okay, focus energy. Let's go, focus. You got to focus, and here we go. Fly attack. And it does its thing. All right. And come on, don't. Yeah, there we go. Level 37 has no idea what hit him. And luckily for us, we actually gave Toxic Batman the Shell Bell. So yeah, it's a lot of a. Uh, it's a lot of a. Uh, well, like I say, it's it's something. It's a good equipment to have right there. So let's see. We got more money. Hopefully, we don't get another phone call from our mom. And well, I'm gonna save the game. And uh, let's see. While I'm saving the game, well, there's actually a good reason why I save the game during the game or in the game too, guys, and that is because uh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver has a little bit of a glitch uh, every single time you change uh, you change rooms. It happens at some point uh, during a prolonged uh, period of like you know footage, and well, we're gonna talk to this guy first. He sees that holy crud! What what are you saying? I fell asleep. Man should never be unmindful. Da 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 da. And yes, he wants the battle. As he is the lazy sailman that the, the other sailor was actually saying, t talking to us about. So we're gonna be battling this guy. Now, what I was saying, guys, there is a little bit of a glitch here in Heart Gold Soul Silver. If ever you change rooms or you know you start up a game, uh, the sprites they turn into cubes or something like that, and then the game just freezes and all that stuff. So that's the reason why I save the game during the game. That way, if it happens during the game, then I can restart, re reset the game. You know, the game. Triple H. Trust me, guys, it's actually a very, very good idea to do that. Now, from time to time, you're going to be seeing that here in the next 20 episodes, so... Yeah, I was very, very careful with the, with the footage that I was coming out with. And, well, here we go with Fluff Bolt. It has been a while since I've seen you, homeboy. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a, a Thunder Punch right here. Psyduck, yeah, he has no choice but to uh, to lose to us. Psyduck has been defeated. Fluff Volt, the victor, and, well, Stanley's coming out with his Machoke, so let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Relic right here. 
All right, all right, all right. Look at that. We're defeating Re we're defeating these guys with a macho. Oh wait, shit. Wait, what the hell am I talking about? Here we go. Let's go straight for a side beam attack. And well, the side beam it's going to be super effective. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Relic the victor. And well, there's more points. More experience points for everybody else, including Cinder. And, well, Stanley has been defeated. He can't focus because he just woke up. And, yeah, he is going to have to go back to the captain. He doesn't want us to snitch. And, well, there goes a call from our mom again. So, yeah, we're not going to answer that. Not at all. I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. So, after you defeat Stanley, you can go back here and you can actually talk to the captain. And, yes, he's going to be telling us that he yelled at the guy. So, now... That enables us to actually try and find the, the lost girl, and, well, there's the motor. I think that's the motor. I don't know, but it, you can actually hear it. And uh, here's another individual, and, yeah, she wants the battle. Okay, so there's not a lot of trainers in here, guys, but it's worth the, worth the experience points. And here she comes out with a Sea King, while I come out with Toxic Batman again. Trust me, guys, uh, I... Yeah, it, like it's been five months, okay? Five months since I played this game. I, you know, I obviously forget a lot of the things that I do during my progress. I never really watch my walkthroughs. I, I just do them. I just record them, guys. One of these days, yeah, well, you know, one of these days I will watch my walkthroughs. And, uh, you know, we, 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 like I can cringe at my stuff. I'll be just, you know, I'll be talking to like, what the hell was I thinking? Seriously. What was I saying? Was I drunk? No, I know I don't drink anymore. What the hell? And well, there we go. Fly attack for the win. And uh, well, Sea King or the Sea Queen has been defeated right there. And Cinder grows a little bit more. And yes, I am very very strong. The force is strong with me. And well, we're gonna go go into the next room right here. And well, there's not much right here. That right there is probably an emergency exit. And I believe this is the room where the actual captain's at. And, well, there he is. And there's a little girl right in front of him. And she wants to play. Of course, she's bored as hell. And, yes, she wants to play with us. So we're going to be playing hide-and-seek with her for, like, a little spell right here. Now, talk to this guy. And, yes, he uh, <laughs> it's quite demanding his job. And she's going to be hiding around here somewhere. So, yeah, we're going to have to play hide-and-seek with her for just a little bit. And I... I have reason to believe I know where the area or where, where she's at so let's go right ahead and let's go find her right here in this deep corner right here and there she is look at that how you doing oh you found me let's go back to grandpa okay so we have accomplished our mission right here grandpa was playing hide-and-seek with me and her and then uh, well we've entertained her and he gives us the metal coat which will enable us to evolve either an onyx or a scythe there. And after that, we have finally reached the Kanto region, more specifically Vermilion City. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to have to heal up my Pokemon because uh, we're not just we're not just going to check out the city. Well, kind of, but we still have to battle. You know, the gym battles don't don't end right there. So this is pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm happy that you guys enjoyed this first episode right here. First episode back in Pokemon Heart Gold. Remember, all these Heart Gold episodes are going to be postcoms. And, uh, well, they've been postcoms, but they will be postcoms. So if I get out of topic or anything like that, it's because I can right here. Anywho, guys, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode, which will be probably on Friday, I think. I don't know. No, Sunday. Yeah, I was thinking of something else. So I'll see you guys next time.